Hi, my name's Cassis Rayner and I'm a filmmaker and iPhone cinematographer. So today's video is all about using a gimbal and Filmic Pro. How do we get those fantastic professional looking tracking shots and smooth shots when we're out on location? So let's dive straight in. So mobile phones really come into their own when using a gimbal. They're fast to set up and they're great to shoot with. Now I personally use a Smooth 4. Now it doesn't matter whether you've got a DJI um, or another branded gimbal, it doesn't matter. The principle is the same. How do you physically get the great shots that you need for your shoot? So a little bit of preparation um, and planning before your shoot is, is really important. Even though you're using a mobile phone, it's still important to prepare yourself for that shoot. So I always make sure that I've got certain pieces of equipment with me ready for the shoot. So I built my own handrail and it gives me even more stability and a greater movement in my actual shots. Now to keep the weight as minimal as possible, I use a thin moment case. Then I can attach a Moondog multi-camera adapter and of course then I can attach an ND filter. Then I'll attach the actual Moondog gimbal weight and do a quick balance calibration before turning the power on. So a gimbal isn't a magic wand. Sometimes I wish it was a magic wand and it would make my life a lot easier, but it's not. So there are things physically you need to do in how you move and operate the actual gimbal to get those smooth shots. So a lot of people call this the uh, ninja walk. Um, you may have heard that term. I call it the glide. So I'm bending my knees, I'm taking all of the movement and weight through my legs. I'm reducing anything moving above my waist. So it may seem a little daft, but that kind of movement and how you physically work with the gimbal does take a lot of practice until you can kind of work it out for yourself. So now let's check out some shots. Let's see what you can do with the gimbal using a mobile phone. So this is the follow shot on a wide angle lens. Now I'm using Filmic Pro here connected to the Smooth 4 so I can use the wheel and adjust my focus peaking just to make sure I get the focus absolutely right. And this is a follow shot um, on a telephoto lens. So we've gone from the wide angle to the telephoto lens. And now again it's a follow shot but it's called a reverse. So here we're using the wide angle lens and you can see lovely soft focus in the background. So now this is the follow reverse on telephoto lens. And again, you can see some really lovely depth to the actual shot. Now, when I'm using Filmic Pro to get my focus point, I'm actually making sure that my focus point is kind of on the tip of the nose if it's an actor that you're filming and you're moving with them. So the focusing isn't quite on the eyes, it's on the nose. And the reason I do that is that I found with experience that when they start moving forward and you're walking with them, they will actually just step forward a fraction and it just hits that focus point. It hits the sharpness where I've set it. This shot I call the step in reveal. So the act is to the side and then steps into the shot, really nicely framed and easy to follow. Now here's the profile shot. What's really important about this kind of setup is that you don't do what we call the crab walk. It's really important that you're walking forwards, but obviously your, your uh, mobile phone is to the side of you, whether it's the left or the right. So a low angle follow shot where you want to pick up some detail. You know, you might want to cut into something very specific that's important, a prop that's important to the actual scene. I call this shot the flip follow. <laughs> This is where I'm actually turning the whole gimbal system on a monopod upside down. It gets me really fantastic tracking shots. This I call the crane and the crane shot. And here's the crane wide angle lens. And it just works brilliantly on a monopod. And here again from a, uh, the side of a building coming down just to offer you variant. This I call the fly shot. Again, it's a high angle shot. Um, not quite a crane because you're keeping it in the same position but you're following the subject. I love the focusing on Filmic Pro. Um, it really, really works for me. Now in this shot, I call this the locked focus shot. So I'm actually setting the focus at the point I'm going to stop next to the actor and then I'm going to walk backwards 
so it will be out of focus and then when I walk forward recording it's out of focus and then bang comes into focus. So this is uh, just a demonstration of the 360 angle shot here using the wide angle lens going around the actor here using the ultra wide angle but be very careful about some noise issues that you might get with that specific lens on the iPhone and again here with a telephoto lens so this I call the ramp shot and I love playing obviously with slow motion using the gimbal uh, ramping up and then showing you some effects there using titles on it is sometimes a really nice establishing shot. So here I'm wanting to combine two separate shots using two different lenses. I'm using the telephoto lens uh, for this specific shot and then I cut to the wide angle lens but I want a more sort of a fluid connection to, between the two shots. So hold on a sec. There's one last shot I want to show you and it helps to explain why I shoot at 1 48th on Filmic Pro and why I prefer 24 frames per second. Now if you have a look at this shot again with the actor and I'm doing the 360 degree shot then you will see when I freeze it that there's some lovely motion blur and soft focus in the background which really gives detail and depth of field from the actor to the background. And that's what I'm looking for in my shots. So those are just some of the types of shots that you can do using uh, a gimbal, your mobile phone, and the Filmic Pro app. There's a lot more that you can actually do. I've had to compress, um, obviously, my list for this video. Now, if you haven't checked out Filmic Pro, please do so. You can find them on the App Store or on Google Play. Yet again, I really appreciate you viewing the video. I really hope that you got some tips and insights from it. And thanks very much for watching.